because my friend Leo <laughs> has passed out behind me. Now I can speak at normal volume. He gave me permission. And I don't think that anybody is able to disturb him when he's sleeping. Welcome to the very first Fanders video of 2015. Woo! I haven't posted a vlog in over a year. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that joke. That's way overdone. First order of business, I have to bring this to attention because it's amazing. 100,000 subscribers? You guys, that's amazing. That's mind-blowing. I, I I'm seriously gotta step up my game now. I've got a bunch of awesome people out there watching and it's still a growing audience, so thank you so much for putting your trust and interest in this little vlog that I've just now started only a few months ago. Thank you so much, and I've got lots to look forward to in the year 2015, so watch out, you guys. It's gonna be awesome. Seriously, you guys make me so freaking happy. And that brings us to the theme of this video, which is, why am I so darn happy all the time? I can't quite tell you how many questions I've gotten regarding why am I always so positive, why am I always so bubbly or peppy all the time, but it's a lot. It was a lot of questions, and I thought, okay, so they need an answer, and I can't really just type one out, so I just figured I would make a video and talk with you guys about it. What kind of things keep me so positive all the time? And you know, it's, it's an ongoing thing. It's like, obviously I have my ups and my downs. I'm not a continuous cartoon character. But I definitely try to look on the positive side of things. Now, before I go into any sort of note on my own positivity, this is not a how-to book on how to be happy. There are a lot of people that suffer from depression and unhappiness, and it's not something that you can just point to them and say, get happy. It's not that easy. It's really not that easy. This is stuff that I've been able to just kind of like philosophize on myself, but for the people that suffer from depression, those people, we need to be there for them and support them and provide them distractions in life and, you know, just be there for them. I care so much about them and it's an important thing for me to kind of be there as whatever sort of a distraction I can for those that need it. But again, this is just stuff that I look at to make myself happy and just keep myself on that positive side of things since people have been asking me where all this positivity comes from. First thing that I should bring up, counting my blessings. I try very hard each night before I go to bed to say a little prayer, and within the prayer, I count what I am thankful for for that day. Whether it's hanging out with my friends, or the food that I got to eat that day if I was able to stop by McDonald's or just being able to help somebody less fortunate or being able to make somebody happy through a message online or just, you know, counting the things that made me feel good that day. Hanging out with my parents or my friends or relatives. I'm just trying to make sure that I reflect on that. Before you go to bed, Think about things that you were thankful for that day that happened. And then you can even broaden that spectrum to things that happened during that week that you were thankful for. Things that happened for your year. It's, it's just important to really reflect on what you should be happy on, and it helps me to focus on the good stuff. I mean, because it's very easy to focus on the bad. You have to push yourself to focus on the good, and you then realize there's, there's actually a lot of good things that did happen, and I hope that that's the case. But it definitely, you know, even the smallest thing, it's just nice to be thankful for something and it helps you kind of feel good that it happens. Second thing that I tend to do is sing a lot. Don't stop those that stumble and go a whole new when you're a jet. I want to see right. Even if you're not a good singer, I would recommend just trying to belt out your favorite tune wherever. In your house, in the shower, in the car, on the sidewalk, whatever. Just, it's, it's just fun to kind of express yourself. If you're not a big singer, if sports is more your thing, express yourself through sports or video games. It's a great way to kind of focus your energy on something and give it your all and you're good at that and it's just a nice way to kind of like power through things. It's able to help me, I don't know, it rejuvenates the soul. Something that makes you happy to do, do it. That's your thing. That's something to help you. Third thing I try to do is, if nothing else, I usually have a favorite show. Right now, I'm currently obsessed with Parks and Recreation, and American Horror Story, and uh, Orange is the New Black. These shows are just kind of my little escape, you know, when you just need to watch something to keep yourself entertained. It's just fun to kind of 
escape into a world and know those characters and, and have just a lot of fun. There's always going to be times, even in my life, when you come across hardship. Whether through loss, whether through love, whether through family issues, you're always going to come across some sort of hardships. And in those times, it's always helpful for me to kind of visualize that as the tough chapter in your life story. And that's kind of sappy, I know, but that's just how I think about things. If I am the main character of my own story, you're going to have some chapters that are rough weather. And that's great because it makes for a great story. You just have to know that you're going to come out better on the other side of that storm, whatever it may be. And you're going to come out of it wiser than when you started. So I always just look at things as speed bumps rather than ending points. You know, if you look at a problem and you think this isn't the end, this is just a rough patch that you have to get through and learn from, for me it just helps me kind of process through things and not take things too, you know, heavy. That's, that's how I've taken to it. Another thing that always continues to drive me in my happiness is just my curiosity for things. I like seeing other people's perspectives on things and seeing what they can do. I love learning and, and that drive of putting myself in other people's shoes and, you know, everybody's a person, so everybody has a story and I want to learn those stories. So it's always just fun to talk with people, to talk with you guys. I'm on Tumblr all the time talking with people. It's just fun to get to know somebody and to understand where they're coming from and learn their talent. So many people out there are so talented, so skilled and just amazing artists and they share that talent with the world. It's so good. I think it's fun for me because I just geek out at like everything. I geek out at so many things. Disney and artistry and steampunk and you know all this great stuff. So it's just easy for me to kind of go in off and explore and find people with similar interests and identify with those people. I mean the internet can actually be a very fun place to connect with people of similar interests and realize, oh my goodness, you like this thing too! It's so cool! But yes, I would say going out there and learning other people's stories and connecting through those stories on a, another plane that you never thought possible is just so good for the heart. So good for the heart. And it's, it's definitely been something that has been even greater of a possibility for me now because I get to talk with people from all over the world and it's just, it's, it makes my, my heart so big. <laughs> Still asleep, Leo? He is just so darn cute. <laughs> that brings me to the final source of my happiness and it's you guys. It's been wonderful getting to know all of you guys and helping you any way that I can and making you guys smile in some way, some small way. It's just been such a blessing to me because honestly I've always been kind of the kid clown in my elementary school and middle school. It always makes my uh, heart sing to make somebody laugh and so to be able to do that on a global scale once again it's just fantastic. I was always that kid that was like my heart went out to those cartoons with Eeyore and he always looked so sad I just wanted to give him a big old hug. Oh, Eeyore, Eeyore, let's go cloud painting together. And it was, it was just, that was heartbreaking for me. I wanted to make him happy. So even as a kid, yeah, it's just been my sort of perspective to be the one to make other people happy. I think that that maybe comes across as really weird to people sometimes on the internet because they're like, you couldn't possibly be this positive all the time. And of course, like, I do have those ups and downs, but you just have to put that right perspective in and at least for me, it's a matter of me changing my gears, knowing what to be thankful for, having my little bit of distractions through TV and the internet and following my interests and it's been a great source of optimism and happiness for me. And of course, like I said, it does not work for everybody and this is not a cure-all. For those people that are having trouble with depression and sadness and peer pressure and family at home, those kids, I'm going to do what I can to help provide as much happiness as I can for you guys. You guys, we need to be there for them. We need to be there for support and care for them because they are going through a lot and they shouldn't be just told to, hey, get happy. It's not that easy and we need to be there for them because I love them and we all should love them and make sure that they're doing okay. Those of you guys throughout the video might have seen that um, my ring fingers were painted pink and that is for solidarity with Leela Alcorn who recently uh, we lost due to the negative pressures put on her because of her gender identity. These are the kind of kids that we need to be there for, to support them, to show that we stand with them to help them through this tough time because we can't afford any more losses of wonderful, wonderful teenagers like Leela. That's about it guys, a little order of business. 
I have hoodies now. This is not it. You can find it at www.districtlines.com slash Thomas Sanders. I hope you check it out. They look so cool. I'm excited. I'm so excited to have hoodies now. This is unreal. So cool. I hope you enjoyed this video, got a little insight into my life, and you got to see Leo sleeping. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, and also another Q&A video is coming up soon, and I will put out an announcement on Vine to use the hashtag Ask Thomas Sanders for more questions that I will answer. Thank you so much, you guys, and please, 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 I hope that you're all doing so well this new year, new goals. This is it, guys. 2015. Let's be happy together. See you later, Fanders. Out.